right you see this they had a really good sale 65 percent off black friday so this is where i got it from and then i'm gonna go log in all right and then you'll see the download manager here and of course if you don't have the download manager already you need to download that and that's what i already showed you and then you go to my downloads you will see the download manager here as well but under paid downloads you will also see all the things that i just showed you in the download manager so down here waveform 13 i can go to downloads and i can download it for mac i can download it for windows i can download it for linux or pi all right so i have already downloaded it for windows so it should be in my download folder all right so i'm going to go to downloads bring it over and then i'm going to go to downloads and you're going to see waveform version 13.20 up here now this is what i'm not sure of i'm not sure like if you have to download this particular version or if it just automatically upgrades 13 period so like when i go to waveform 13 is it going to show the pro version that's what i'm wondering so I found out it actually is the exact same thing. So you don't have to install it again if you already have Waveform 13 free on here. So what you wanna do now is when you go to settings, go to downloads, and then from here, you can also install it. So I can do the band essentials for Waveform. All right, I'm gonna press yes for that. All right, it is downloading back over the Traction Download Manager. All right, this is 976 megabytes, all right and i could just install update all of these okay and they'll download and they'll install now you should be able to choose exactly where it saves to but i didn't see the option right there one thing i like about it it will still install everything while you are up here working with it so and it'll let you know exactly when there's new plugins like i can say scan now for that so this is where you need to set it at where it says application feature set and then right now it says best available in traction account or you can keep it set on the free i had to set on the free version and now i can change it to the pro version and then it will say to restart it so i'm gonna restart it and now at the top it says waveform pro and now at the top it says waveform pro and it says 32 new plugins have been found. Do you want to scan them now? And I'm going to say scan now. So exciting that this is the new pro version. Woohoo! All right. And while you're waiting on this and while I'm waiting on this, if you are liking this so far, definitely give it a like. It does help it spread to more people. Also, if you have any questions about Traction Waveform, I am just slowly gaining access to it slowly get knowledge of it so there's a lot of things that i still don't know how to do or understand but that's a perfectly fine because i'm learning and as i learn i will share so if you have a question or if you have a comment about something that i'm doing wrong definitely provide that in the comments below all right let's look at it and see what looks different okay let's use a lighter thing default high contrast i'm curious to see if it's going to look any different Oh, wow. That does look a little different. Yeah, it's definitely a bit different. Some of the features down here at the bottom are different. Like, for instance, this was not there. Groove Doctor. Okay. We have, I don't know what this is. Scrub. What is this? Toggle displaying waveform with frequency information. Okay. Show or hide quick actions window. Oh, that's tight. View, browser properties, plugins, and mixer. Okay, uncheck that. MIDI, overview, arranger. Got the arranger tool now, you all. That's what I was really waiting on. Tempo, marker, chord. Okay, browser. All right, properties. Cool. Plugins. All right. 